canisters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah. and put the money in your pocket okay and I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We get volatility in spades, and we'll get our heads wrapped around that in one second. Love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think. Everything you do has a consequence, and you are going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or the other. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 248, NASDAQ off 80, S&P's down 29, gold contract down $35, traded $18.17 an ounce. You got silver off 30 cents, trading out at $23.58 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a dollar twenty nine, eighty six dollars eighty nine cents a barrel. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. <coughs> Notes and bonds. The ten year note down eighteen ticks, trading out at one twenty seven eighteen. Thirty year bond off twenty five at one fifty four fifteen. And king dollar. King dollar is up five hundred and three ticks, trading at ninety six four fifty. We have the euro out here at one twelve. The yen is at one fourteen and a half, and the British pounds at one thirty four to one U S dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Okay, volatility, man. Whoa, baby. This is volatility uh, like we haven't seen since 2008. And what are we talking about here? Well, check it out. The high of today inside the S&P Meet you Minis, folks, is 4446. Bottom line, right now, we are uh, 130 points under that. And so let's go look at this intraday. So we take a look at this intraday first. Let's get this together. Okay, so it's 309, and it's been a straight move down. Okay, so there's the last. So the last bar that has any volume was a 20 of 2. You get this bar coming down. It's starting to get somewhat of contraction, okay? So this bar here has 88,000. The bar it's taken out has 135,000. And then we're coming into over here. Now, this is how this works. Now, this is cool, folks, okay? So if you're watching Tiger TV, what I want you to see here is this. I'm always putting a bar against the bar, whether it's going up or down. I use 10 minute bars, that's they're just consistent. That being said, I want you to see something here, okay? This market's gonna need a lot more juice to get lower. And this is what you have. This is really cool now, okay? So what's going on is that Wick, when we went down on, let's see, yesterday, when we got down at, uh, that was at 9.50 in the morning, that bar there had 92,000 contracts. Well, we just went down and we had 89,000 contracts. So what that is saying, the bottom line, is that that is saying more than likely you just saw the low of the day. That's how this shakes out. It's, 
it can get tested again, but realistically, I mean, you know, realistically, that's how this works out, okay? So, and what you have on top of that is that we know that the last volume bar down had a price projection of, uh, well, it went 43.50. So watch how this works. This is where this gets wild, man. So we're at 43.23. So what should happen here is that we should make a run to at least 43.50. Powell's still talking out here. Uh, bottom line is that this is going to be, uh, this is about as wild as you get. But this is, a this is a nice setup. And you can see that when you take a look at factually how you do price and volume, the bottom line did the straight line move down. Last time that we had any volume down was 43.50. You broke it, and guess what? You came into the downdraft from yesterday, and you have lighter volume. So what, what I'd like you to understand, markets are all about energy. So when you get markets that are either going up and are going down, when you go down that fast, let's, if, you're, if you're a bull, you should really like what just happened. I know that, you know, the bottom line is that the S&Ps are up like 90 points and you're saying, what are you out of your mind? Bottom line, folks, is that the more that this low gets tested, and I brought this up yesterday, and the faster that you come back and go after that low, what ends up happening is that that's a larger bottom. That's how it works out. Because what ends up happening is that you come down, you get big volume, people get out. You get a bounce, you come back down again, people get out. You come back down again, and we've, all, we've done that all in the course of uh, 90, well, not even 96 hours, 50, uh, well, 48 hours. Bottom line, that gets the selling over with, and then you got to remember something. It doesn't take much to get buying going. So we just did... The S&Ps. Now let's go into the NASDAQ. Because the NASDAQ, oh man, you talk about when you see the highs and lows in the NASDAQ, this is something else. So, NASDAQ out here, the high today is 14,639. And so the bottom line, <laughs> this is amazing actually. So we're down uh, 500 and, uh, 550 points from where we were. Okay? Now, you do the same exercise on this. The bottom line is that you want to know what were you going into. Okay, so this is the bar that we we're going into right there. That bar, and that was at uh, 10 minutes of three yesterday. The, that bar had uh, 300, no, 31,000 contracts. The last time that we had volume on the way down was the same bar at 1440. That number there was 52,000 get this straight 52,000 we're still going 31 okay then we came into the low there it is man and okay so you came into the low you came into that bar and you came into that bar with 28,000 so your correlation is 28 last time with volume on the way down gets you all the way up to the price point of uh, 14,191 so what this is saying is that we're at 14,090 what this is saying is that this thing should climb its way back up. 191, man, that's a trip. Okay, so this is telling me that, you know, by the end of the day, man, even the NASDAQ will be positive. Might only be 10, 15 points, but that's how that's shaking out. So we will see how this baby goes. Volatility in spades, no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 280. You get the Nasdaq off uh, 62. S&Ps are down at uh, 29. Let's go to our man, uh, Jose in Bato. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey there, Tom. I'm on a beautiful soccer field. It's cold, very overcast. It's a beautiful day to do five miles. That's man, awesome, man. One. Congratulations. That's cool, man. That's... Hey, Tom. Tom, the 9 a.m. guy is scary smart, scary smart. But yeah. you better have a cup of coffee before you tune in, because he, he talks fast. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you. He, he is smart. That's a, that's wow. Pretty, does, yeah. He does a lot of work. Hey, Tom, that's right. Uh, hey, where's the outrage? Where's HUD? How's in ur urban development? And Barney Frank, well, we know where he is, but <laughs> with that, that BlackRock, who has $800 billion in revenues, can control and monopolize and securitize single-family homes across the country. Where's the outrage? Where are our leaders? Well, I think you get a great point. And the the reality is, I would say that uh, no one's gonna really going to understand what happened for another two or three years. That's the reality. Okay. Because people yeah. aren't paying attention. That you know. And what what Jose is talking about, folks, is that when you talk about the amount of single families that are in the United States. There is thousands that are off the market right now, and they, my take is that they'll never come back on the market. Um, mm -hmm. This is going to be, this is like the beginning of what you saw, well, I didn't see it in Europe probably, you know, 100 years ago. I remember the first time that I went to London, though, it blew my mind that, you know, the reality is that people were renting, yeah. land leasing, you know, this type yeah. of action, and I think it's we have the beginning of that in the United States. Yeah. It's a serious matter. It is a serious matter. It, it totally yeah. is. And, and uh, what we mean by well, that, folks, is this. That, uh, uh, well, a money manager, that all those houses that they own are never going to go back on the market, folks. What, hap what happens is this, is that they'll go from one fund to another fund to another fund to another fund. Because the bottom line is that the only way they make their money is keeping them in funds. So, you know. Yep. I got you. Yeah. Um, Tom, two weeks ago you had a caller from Gloucester, Massachusetts, witnessing a lady crying in line. She couldn't afford chicken. Tom, if you're living in Gloucester, you're eating caviar. Well, it's you know, there's, there's, there. that's Frank from Gloucester. Um, you get a, you get a, you get a point, but the bottom line, but the bottom line is, is that 
that's real in any in all communities. I would say, you know. I, I guess, but Long Beach was my playground growing up. I, I, if I showed up without Armani swim trunks, they kicked me off. Are you saying Long Beach in California? No, Long Beach, Gloucester, Mass. Oh, that's yeah, like oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, you were lucky to see that. I like it. Okay, okay. Um, Caterpillar earnings Friday, uh, probably a mistake putting on a trade ahead of earnings. What would you do? So let's take Hold a look. Pull the curtain back and tell us. Yeah, I, I like this stock. Okay, Caterpillar, the lows one seventy nine, the highs two forty six. You're trading at two twelve. As you say, they're coming out uh, on the twenty eighth after the close. Oh, and after. today's the 26th. Okay. They're looking to do $12.9 billion and bring 227 to the bottom line. Um, let me see this thing. Okay. So. I don't know how it acts with earnings. No, um, I'm with you. Probably a whipsaw a bit. And yeah. So. I'm, I'd love we to get 206 in, again. I, I would let, Jose, I'd let this try to test the lows again. So uh, this is a classic. I mean, it, it did 206. It was going into 206, but we did 5.1 million versus 5.2. It's like so close. Do you know what I'm saying? The break top yeah. side was 5.2. It came down with 5.1. You know, we went higher today with 2.3. It's going to give it up on price. I, I would let it basically see if you can test it before the fact. If you get, if you get the test before Friday, then, you know, and you get a rejection of price, you could go for it. That's, that's how it, what that's I was going to do anyway. I got you. I wanted a little confirmation uh, from you. Uh, 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 Tom, impact fees are not cheap in Pasco County. I'm not paying for them. Caterpillar's paying. Well, there you go, man. Cooking, brother. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go to Andy in Boulder. Hey, Andy, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you been? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. I <laughs> see you got the uh, warm weather clothes on, huh? I do, man. I know. I know. <laughs> And listen to this. Hey, do you know I have you on that promo, right? And yes, sir. Tiger Tom, folks, my grandchild, Tommy's son, he's going to, so it's, it's the, it's, it's a, a national holiday, okay? Next week, February 2nd. That's his birthday. <laughs> he's, he's one no year old. No longer Groundhog Day. It's, it's and it's and you know what's so birthday. great? So check this out, folks. February 1st is also the year of the tiger. So That's right. we're going to have some fun. Totally. Yes, sir. Yep. So what do we get? Oh, Palo Alto Networks. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So, yeah. so the lows three hundred eleven dollars. The highs five seventy two. We're trading four seventy four. Next time they come out with their numbers is uh, February twenty second. Oh, I see. So what are we doing with this? Well, I'm looking at that gap on August twenty fourth, yeah. and I'm just wondering if, uh, since it was such high volume, do, it, does it matter on the volume on those gaps? It does. Whether it gets filled or not? No, it's going to get filled, man. So okay. here, this one, folks, is a great one to look at. And the, you know what's really cool about this? This will be a great one, folks, that we all should keep this on a chart, whether you trade it or not, okay? Just so you can see, this is a great stock, okay? I mean, you know, fundamentally, if you're a fundamentalist, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, the bottom line is that <coughs> this is a... This is an equity that's still growing, you know, by approximately 8% per year in the whole world, okay? Five years ago, they did 2.3 billion. This year, 5.4 billion. They're bringing a buck 65 to the bottom line. That being said, because of the way this market is, what has happened is this, is that it's already come off the highs. It doesn't have any volume up at those highs. You can see that the contraction of volume is dramatic yeah. and what normally would hap happens is this is that the top of that gap is 446 bucks it would come down to that go sideways for a while reject price build some cause because it's going to be hard to get through that then drop it's you know drop everything man and feel like th th that gap is way too big man you know yeah yeah okay yeah, I just yeah. want to make sure I was seeing what... No, I, I know. And, you know, for as I said, folks, whether you trade it or not, you should put it up there. So just so you can see how these gaps work when they come down, and it doesn't, does not matter how good of fundamentals they have. There's something about the market that sucks it right in there. It's like a magnet, pulls it in. If you're looking to buy it, well, you know, just sit there and wait. Let it pull it in. 
if it pulls it in with lighter volume, then you got a beautiful, you know, setup because you get the buy, you put the stop on the other side of the gap, and then you're just looking mm -hmm. for, you know, higher price, man. Right. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay. I just thought it looked like an obvious, pretty one to watch. So I really I know, man. It. I know. And there's plenty of folks that have never seen this. So put it up on your chart, folks, okay? Because the bottom line is that you'll be in shock that it can actually get into that gap and fill it. So pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, hey, thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go take birthday. a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. We're going to have some volume out here today. And so what you're going to end up all with also, you're going to end up with a, a higher high probably with some juice. Uh, you have uh, Ma Bell is down $2.40. You got Microsoft up 6 bucks. You got uh, Lucid off $2. You got uh, Verizon off $1.90. You got Snap down uh, 2 dollars Stay right there, folks. We'll come back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the market for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now down 257. You get the NASDAQ off uh, four, S&Ps down 20. Let's go into the Dow. Take a look at the Dow, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrial point-wise out here. What you have uh, putting positive points in it, there's only four stocks right now. Microsoft's putting 57 positive points. Visa 21, America Express 7. Taken away from it. Boeing, minus 65, 3M 33. These are all minuses. Uh, Amgen 23, Disney 21. It's kind of spread out. Not, not a real big deal, actually. And as I said, I, I suspect, even though we're in the red, I suspect we're going to be in the green or flat by the, this close comes in. 
If we look at the NDX 100, uh, what do you have? Uh, what is this one? Yeah, I have, oh, Datadog. Okay, so Datadog is up 4.5%. You get Broadcom up 4.3%. Microsoft's up 33 And Clack is up 3 Taken away from it. Pendo do is down 8.5%. That's a, that's a hit. Holy cow. Um, automatic, uh, automatic Data is down 8.5%. You get Lucid off 44 And Paychex is off 42 Okay, we're going to... Uh, i got to see this. This is... Okay, this is... An indication of where we're going here. So what happened with automatic data processing? Okay, so the lows 162, the highs 248. Let's come out with numbers. What has happened here? Let's see. Come on. Margin growth slows. What do we have here? Okay, so ADP is ADP shares fell the most to date 22 months after the company quarterly margin growth margin growth slowed. Okay, so the estimate was a dollar fifty-two. They came in with a dollar sixty-five revenue. The estimate was three point nine eight billion. They came in with four billion. about the margin, I guess. I got to do more work on this one, man. Because we, we, my, my point is, folks, you want, you want to watch these payroll numbers big time. The reason being is that what happens when the economy is going to start going south, those payroll companies, okay, they're first tell how it works. Let's go to Mark in Fort Collins. Hey, Mark, what's going on, man? Not too much. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm oh, just watching the roller coaster that is the I market. know. Hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, tell me what reading you got with your whatever you look at for a tick reading. I got a monster one. This okay, afternoon. cool. Let's let's take a look. Okay, so we have minus nineteen fifteen, and that was generated just now. Yeah, pretty cool. Twenty past. All right, Three. and then uh, and that's the, we had a pretty good one. When was the last one we had? Oh yeah, we had. I mean, you know, we go back two right. days ago, minus eighteen sixty eight. The day before that, minus nineteen eleven. We've had the tick readings going with us. Okay, what well, we haven't had yet. Let's trend. pull up the trend for a second. Okay, so what we're doing, folks, is this: when you get a, really a nice established bottom, and it's going to be hard to get that now. Meaning, no, meaning on the ticks. I mean, the trend too. You, you normally like to see something like about eight and a half, okay? And you can see now on a five day, it was 97 yes, today, 94, 90, 74. And that's not cooperating, man, you know? So that, what that tells me is that this is, you know, a bounce, um, but we're not done yet. But that's the way I'm kind of <clears throat> looking at this. But I, I think the more that this keeps testing, the, the low bar, which it's doing, the higher that will actually go on the bounce. That's kind of how it works. Because if it, you know, it goes down with volume, people get out. It goes up a little, they say, oh my God, okay, I'm going to be all right. Then it goes down again. Then it goes up again, then it goes down again. Those, well, you get the gist of it. When it's that quick, you know, the selling subsides. Because what ends up happening, folks, is some people are never going to sell, and that's it, you know, and... So if there's no more sellers, you're going higher. You there? I wonder what happened. Bummer. Let's go to, uh, oh, we got Duncan Steve. wonder if he's drinking Dunkin' Donuts again. Let's see. Steve, what's going on, man? Tom O'Brien. How you doing? How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? <laughs> Long time no talk. Doing yeah, good. Doing I know. good. Thank you. So what kind of coffee are you drinking these days? Uh, you know, I'm just getting, going for the cheapest brand. They all taste the same to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Maxwell House, though. I you get like the big it. tub in, uh, in a market basket for about uh, 385 I love it. Not That's bad. hilarious. <laughs> H-I-M-X. Yeah, I hope all is well with you, too. Yeah, seriously. Let's take a yeah, look. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, H-I-M-X, Tom, it's uh, High Max Technologies. They're really into the, on the forefront of the uh, display chip for anything that requires display. Okay. And now we're talking about the metaverse and uh, VR and all that. You name it, they were into that whole thing. It's a chip company. Okay, cool. So 
It's a company that makes a lot of money. The bottom line is that five years ago, they only took in $723 million. This year, they're going to take in $1.5 billion. And they went from $0.07 cents five years ago to bring in $2.52 to the bottom line. And that's pretty yeah, intense. Uh, sorry to interrupt you there, Tom. I'm looking at November of 20, uh, okay. 2020. So if you go a two-year weekly, okay, you perfect. can see where it started off. Yeah. Went from three to seventeen or so. Then it's been bouncing down right off the ten mark, roughly. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, okay. So this is pretty cool. So check this out, folks. Okay. Now this this hat. You get a high volume high. That says it wants to go back to the. What happens with a high volume high, folks, is this. <coughs> they love getting tested. When I say the problem, the pro the problem is you never know when they're going to go test it. That's that's the reality. But. I love them when they're up there because if you get it right on the way down, meaning you're coming against uh, strength, if it comes against it with lighter volume, you're in good shape. This is a good setup, man. Um, the real question is, is that you see how this came down, you know, three weeks ago? That's that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah, I see that. Sure. Yeah. You know. yeah, I didn't know it was going to be bouncing off around that ten for another longer period of time, and eventually maybe. Maybe do the, um, what, 3 to 16 route, four, 14 or so up on an yes. eventual no, year yeah, out, uh, maybe see up, I don't know. There's no, there's no doubt. Um, what happens, yeah. see, see this, okay, one second. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. We take this. Okay, so on a monthly, you're up with volume, down with light volume, up, down. Man, this, this is this is this is a tough one on a short-term entry. That's what it really is. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I like I like how I like the setup. I can tell you that. Um, you know, but the real question yeah. is, is that does it go to nine forty-eight first, which you can real easy. You know. Oh right. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one last thing, if I may. Yes. Um, I find it just sitting here. If I'm uh, looking at the screens here and there, I, I go to Yahoo Finance, right, and you type in a three or four of your symbols, and you get that little list. And uh, every time you bring it up, right on the top, it shows you S and P 500, the Dow, the Nasdaq, okay, and what they're doing. And every I don't know, every five or so ten minutes, I will simply write down those three numbers. Like this morning, for instance, it went, it was as high as uh, 495 and 339 Dow yes. and Nasdaq, right, in a positive. Yeah. And now we're at what 245 and minus 20, right? I know. Minus 245. Yeah. It's crazy, but it gives you a good feel for the market, yeah. It does. It does. Yeah. And particularly writing it down. I, there's no doubt, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cooking, yeah. brother. All right, thank you very much. Absolutely. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 242. NASDAQ is off uh, 36. S&Ps are off 22. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 161. You get the Nasdaq off. Uh, thir Nasdaq's up 13 now. S&P's uh, down 9. Now, something to keep in mind, folks, is this. So picture, we've had the, you, had, you come down, huge amount of selling. You tested it a few times. You have to look at the calendar now, okay? The calendar, we're at the 26th. So you know what I'm going to say, right? The bottom line is that we're going to be coming into window dressing. So... Is window dressing important and why is it important? So watch what happens, folks, with this. So what window dressing is, is this. Window dressing is the last two days of the month, the first two days of the next month. And what happens just on a fundamental basis is that you have all money managers. So picture this. Coming out of pay, pays for the 401k, okay, is huge amounts of money, folks. Money managers don't get paid unless that money is put in the marketplace. That's how it goes. So what I expect you're going to see here is this. So picture if we all put our money manager hat on. If you, you know, you've seen this downdraft, right? You have more money that's coming in. Bottom line is that if you like the market a week and a half ago, well, you're going to love it now. And guess what? They're going to put it to work. So what we have going for us right now is... Window dressing, end of the month, beginning of the month, and a downdraft that has already taken place might take that we're still going to get this bounce. And more than likely, what you're going to see is that it is going to be on light of volume. And then the real question is going to be, have we just set up a monster ABC structure on the way down? And what I've always found is this. If you do the work prior to it, meaning you have the numbers in your head prior to it, or just like when we were... Uh, where am I? Yeah, there we go. When we were just talking um, with uh, Mark and Fort Collins, uh, uh, was it Mark or was it, I'm not quite sure whether it was Mark or was it Andy. Someone was writing them down. When you write them down, it does. I think it was Mark, it was Mark and Fort Collins. The, the bottom line is it makes a huge difference. There, there, there's something about that whole deal, folks, okay? What your head, the pen, the way, the way that it goes. Um, you know, so we'll see this ba where, it's, where this baby's going to shake out, but... I expect that that's what we're going to see. Let's go take a look at the E-minis here for a second. Oh, no, first I want to answer a question. So there was a question when I was talking about these gaps. And what the, what the question was, was looking at the daily versus the weekly versus the monthly. Most of the time, you only see gaps on the daily. That's how it kind of shakes out. Because by the time the rest of the week shakes out, you normally have a gap. But to answer the question, if you have a weekly gap, okay, bottom line is that, yeah, once the market turns or you see it coming back into a lower price, you have to pay attention to it because they just get filled, you know. And, and, you know, as you have been going up, well, let's say a stock's at 200 and there's a gap at 120. Well, when the market turns, that's the problem. That, that's the real bottom line. It's, it's a monster problem. So let's go, take, let's go take a look at the gold market. The gold market to me, folks, okay, you know, 
Gold's been down twenty dollars all day. It hasn't really done anything. You know, they, it, we're going against three hundred eighteen thousand contracts or something. Um, you know, when it, when you take a look at what Powell was saying, you know, the bottom line is that this is going to be a slow process. Uh, we're going gold's we're going against uh, the strength. The strength out there had uh, three hundred thirteen thousand. You're only two fifty four. So that's telling me that guess what? They can't break it down. Um, and the way that Powell laid it out, he, what you want to do, folks, is this. Read exactly what the Fed said, because he didn't change anything today as to what the Fed said. You know, the, the last time. That's my point. They're going to run off the balance sheet, and they're running it off. They're not selling the bonds, by the way, okay? They're flat out. They're running it off. So when you run it off, it would be like you and I, we buy a bond, Bottom line, you hold it until, you know, the end of the term. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of um, stories right now about muni bonds. Muni bonds have got hit. Well, if you buy a muni bond, and muni bonds are good, folks, as long as you get the right ones, okay, in the right states and cities, okay, and they're not building, you know, a, a dog track or something like this, okay. You, get the, you can build a lot of different things with it. Bottom line... If you hold it till it expires, well, guess what? You're going to make money. And, you know, in the muni bond market, what ends up happening is that the, the tax is a lot less, you know, than a regular bond. That's why people buy munis, you know. So um, this is, well, let's go take a look. So the NASDAQ, <laughs> this NASDAQ, man, this is something else. So we had a high today of 14,639. You get a low of 13,945. And let's see where we are. Okay, so we're in, you get eight minutes on this bar. So you can see, like when you're doing this, if you decide that you start trading with these 10 minute bars, I'm telling you, when I came upon this, folks, okay, you can imagine, I mean, I have, done thousands and thousands and thousands of trades. And I'm not saying that just to, you know, say that, okay, I know what I'm doing because we all know that it's a probability business. It's a very tough business. But what does happen when you do that many, you get to see these different setups, okay? The NASDAQ right now, um, you know, we're going to need a little more juice, you know, because this bar right here, you can see this bar right here only has 13,000 contracts. You're going into 17,000. Now, the cool thing is that it's basically staying at the highs. Let me see. So it's 348. Um, you get 10 more minutes. You get uh, two more minutes, rather. And, you know, we'll see whether this can do the next, the next lap. Because, you know, when we started this baby out, we reached, we reached what, 14,187. And it's 14. 1,191 when I started the program. And I'm saying, okay, that's going to be the first place that you're going to get into. Um, and if we get into that with some juice, the bottom line is that, you know, we can get up to this 14,345, which would be really bizarre, <laughs> particularly, particularly in the case of uh, uh, we're talking about within one hour, uh, where do you go? You know what that's going to be like? That's going to be like the, uh, what is it, San Francisco and... Um, what was that game, man? Um, Dallas. No, was it Dallas? No, Kansas City. When Kansas City won. If you watch that game, folks, in the last two minutes of that game, I, I believe it was like three or four scores. I mean, it was, it was insane um, how many scores there actually was. TLT. Let's go into the T. Yeah, I'm going to go into the bonds first. I'll do the TLT. So the TLT is 20 plus bonds. And there's not enough sellers here. So, so check this out. We got up last Thursday and you're up to 144. You have some juice. You're pulling back today. We're pulling back with uh, 19 million shares versus 21. This is still saying, this is trying to get out, get out of bottom too. The bottom line is that this is going to be a slower process than most analysts think. We're not going to have eight 
Interest rate hikes, folks. I just, it's not on the table, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, a $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, oh, my God, look at 354 already. That is absolutely amazing. Time, folks, is uh, just a, wow, that was the quickest hour that I've seen for quite some time. Uh, bottom line is that we have the Dow down 177, NASDAQ off 43, S&P's off 15. So let's bring up the SPY, a few others to see how it's going to be looking on this baby. Okay, so it's not telling us much chart-wise. Okay, so you got SPY get to 444, at a low of 428. Talk about a trip there. What day is today? Today's Wednesday, right? So... Real kicker is you're pushing down with 168 versus 253. Yeah, this this thing still wants higher price, man. We take a look at the Qs. Inside of the Qs right now, well, they just went positive. Okay, so the Qs are up 65. And this one gets intriguing. Now, cause see, see what happens here with this one? That we actually, this is a little tougher. It's like, okay. Did you go to a lower low? But even if we went to a lower low, what ends up happening, not a lower low, but you went low, you still, you take that volume there, 135 million, you're still going into 199. You know, and what I mean by it's a little tougher to understand because we went higher also. So like, do you have a higher high with volume or not? 
Um, it's, it's a toss-up. Tesla, let's do Tesla because what's going to happen, TSLA, right after the close, folks, Tesla's going to be coming out with numbers. And what we have here is this Tesla right now. You down. Tesla's going lower. This is going to be great to watch this thing. Tesla's up 15 bucks. My take, 851 is game again on Tesla. And right now you're at 933. Now, what will be really cool with Tesla is to watch this, is to watch the aspect if, in fact, because if, if it breaks the 851, that could be a, an ABC structure on the way down. And what it would be, let's see, you got 114, 851. Oh, it's a big one. Let's see. Oh, there's 114 bucks plus 150. So it's 264. That would be a big number, man. Folks, come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Thanks so much for being here. It kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks.